and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your most amazing host Rebecca Felgate and today we're talking about the top 10 times the judge lost control. This whole thing is pretty crazy for me. In the UK you absolutely cannot film in court but in good old America anything is possible including screaming that you want someone to die. Hmm. Before we get into the drama of this video I just want to share some cool news with you guys. If you are a big fan of the most amazing gang and you want to meet us in the flesh then we will be at Orlando at Playlist Live from April the 27th to April the 29th. We're also going to be hosting a meetup in Toronto at Young and Dundas Square on May the 12th at 2pm. If any of you guys come wearing a most amazing shirt, we will sign it for you. We'll also have some goodies to give away to the first bunch of people at our meetup in Toronto. See you there. Okay, short and sweet, let's start with our mate Judge Judy who has no time for an idiotic mum. When speaking to an irresponsible mother who lied to her son about who her father is, Judge Judy lost it. She said, You created the situation that placed doubt in the mind of an 11 year old child without having proof positive first. Ish. Like. Harsh words. She also calls the mother one of the most marginal people she has ever met. Later, she reiterates her point when she screams, You're a moron! Yep, let's hear it again, Judy. You're a moron! Yes, Judy. Maybe moron is like important lingo amongst judges. They kind of have moron Tourette's and shout it when they feel like it. Whatever Judge Judy was going through is pretty infectious because check out what sassy Judge Rinder had to say at number nine. I'm getting into my laughing pose. <laughs> <laughs> moron! There it is. Getting serious at number 8, I'm fully behind this judge losing it. We have the judge that freaked out at a defendant not being given pants to wear in court. So I totally get this judge's reaction and to be honest, she did the right thing. A black woman was brought into custody in Kentucky and sent to court with no trousers on. The judge is absolutely disgusted at the way jail officers treated the woman who was also denied feminine hygiene products. She asks, this is outrageous. Is this for real? I've been in our jail for three days and it reports to me that the jail has refused to give her pants and feminine hygiene products. You can hear from the judge's voice that she is livid but she keeps it together very well. Now she surmises her feelings expertly here. Am I in the twilight zone? What is happening? The judge is so enraged at the way the woman has been treated that she changes her sentence to be more lenient. The woman's rant went viral and made global news. So what happens when a judge and a defense lawyer clash? Well, things get pretty awkward at number 7. Judge John Hurley lashed out at a lawyer defending a homeless man. The problem is, is that the lawyer and the judge seem to have a history of some kind and the whole exchange is no longer about the homeless man facing flack and possession charges. Instead, it all becomes a bit of a sass off between the two men. Judge Hurley first says, Your unprofessionalism and your smart aleck, sure. sir, sir, don't, don't even try. You need to pick up your professionalism. You're taking a shot at the court. It's, un it's unprofessional. Then his rant continues. You need to stop doing this. I don't know what else to do. I've admonished you. I know that you're I know that someone in your office has admonished you. In the end, the judge says he doesn't want to hear another word and like, I don't want to hear it either guys, just take it outside the courtroom. Just don't let a judge lie at number 6. Judge Frederick Schott dramatically threw out a jury's guilty verdict of a DUI case and went off at the prosecution. The judge was livid at the sheriff's department for not properly testing the allegedly drunk driver and accused the officer handling the case of being a liar. He kicks off saying he is dismissing the charge despite heavy protests from the jury. His outburst made the news and he maintained the whole case was very very fishy. Judge Marilyn Milan had some things to say at the people's court coming up next at number 5. Firstly, don't ever try and mansplain to Marilyn because she has this to say to you. Counselor, I am directing these proceedings. Oh, and also don't even try and lecture her about respect because... Dr. McCaffrey, Your Honor, it creates a tone of respect. Where I'm from, you sort of got to earn that. Ho ho ho! No. Then finally, when she was done with this smarmy chap, she totally loses it. Here we go, check this out. Watch yourself, okay. Your Honor. Get out of my courtroom! Get a pleasure. Out. A pleasure. Out. Douglas. 
If Douglas touches Ouch. me, you will not be happy, Your Honor. I, you know what? If Douglas beats you to a pulp, I'll be delighted. Get out. Oh, Marilyn, you tell them, honey. Losing it isn't always about screaming at someone. Sometimes to lose it is to laugh uncontrollably in an inappropriate situation, like for example in a courtroom. This is exactly what happened with Judge Judy at number four. Judy has pretty much seen it all at this point, let's face it. She cackled with laughter when a man seemed to want money for a car. Here she goes. Guess he's not getting that new car then. Judy, Judy, you've lost it. Laughing is one thing, but I've never seen a judge lose it by breaking down and crying and hugging two defendants. But that's what's coming into number three. Is this an American thing? Like British judges don't tend to show much emotion. I feel like honestly, the less emotion, the better when it comes to sentencing someone. Well, actually, this is not the case of Judge Marbleen. She broke down on her show when speaking to a mother and daughter. It seems the pair reminded her of her own relationship with her family. Now towards the end, as things start getting more emotional, she starts to cry. She grabs a tissue and then she actually gets out from behind the dock to go and hug the women. This judge freaked out after getting flipped off at number two. So this is why you do not get sassy with a judge. They got the power. A Miami woman was charged with possession of Xanax and when the judge set her bail at $5,000 and dismissed her, she sassily said, adios. The judge then called her back and doubled the bail. It's pretty beautiful. Gun one would be 10,000. Are you serious? I am serious. Adios. The delinquent woman then flipped the judge the bird and said, F you. Yeah, this is not what you want to do to a judge because the judge then called her back again and had this to say. Did you say F me? Actually, I did. Did you say that? Yes, sir. I did. Oh, you did say that? I'm not I find you in direct criminal contempt. 30 days in the county jail. A lot of people found the punishment to be harsh, but that is what happens when you pee off a judge. Just don't do it. CNN reported on the case, and the clip they uploaded to YouTube has had 9 million views. Finally, this is the most dramatic judge meltdown I have ever seen. We have the I hope you die in prison outburst. A judge lost it at a woman who killed her boyfriend. While standing in the dock, the 31 year old killer was receiving her sentence for murdering her boyfriend in cold blood at their apartment in Jackson. The judge, John McBride, Bain said, you gutted him like a fish, you were relentless. He also had this to say. You stab, you stab, you stab, you stab, you stab until he was dead. He then shockingly told killer Miss Gambit to shut her mouth or we would have to duct tape it. He then said, I agree with the family, I hope you die in prison as well. You know, if this was a death penalty state, you'd be getting the chair. Oh wow, I mean, that, I mean, Jesus, it's pretty intense. She was sentenced to life without the possibility of parole, and I mean, wow. So guys, what a drama fest. I cannot believe some of these insane judges. Is it like that in the country that you're from? Anyone watching in a country where it's illegal to film in court? Like, for in some ways, I'm glad, because then we wouldn't see these clips, but in others, I'm just like, chill out, judges, and leave the sentencing to behind closed doors. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know the Lose It clip you enjoyed the most. For now, I'm your most amazing host, Rebecca Felgate. If you want to find out more about our meetups, then check out the links in the description box down below. For now, if you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, Share with a friend and stay subscribed for more top 10 lists. <laughs>